Hey everybody, welcome back to Smirking Gun. This is, well, turning on a light. Wow, well, I really didn't do that much, but, but, this is one of the best episodes of Better Girl Saul that they've ever done. Maybe the best. Um, it's called Nailed. It is unbelievable what happens in this. This is the closest to Breaking Bad they've ever come. But that's not to say that they should be Breaking Bad. It's just how close they're coming to creating Saul, to creating who Mike's going to become, to creating the, the story of Hector Salamanca and how he's going to become. It... It's magnificent. It's 10 out of 10. No, it's 20 out of 10. Screw all this. We're not waiting for ratings. It's just really, really, really good. I didn't mean to pause it on that, actually. Um, Chuck in this... Like, you see the the method that, 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 that Jimmy went through to screw him over to help out Kim. And it all works out in her favor pretty much. I mean, it's so methodical and great. When Chuck is in the courtroom and gets humiliated... He doesn't figure it out right away. But even when he does and has, you know, Kim and Jimmy come over and she, you know, him try to warn her of Jimmy. She sides with Jimmy because Chuck is such a dick. He's never, like, side, you know, like, never helped his brother out. He's always been the kind of guy that only cares about himself. There's other stories, though, going on, which is the very first part, which is Mike, who we find out the whole tales, you know, the spiked, like, what do you call it, hose thing? They, they, they explain that. Because he, like I said, I knew it. I knew it. He, none of this was sitting well with him. And so he waits for, however Mike does it, ex-cop type of guy, waits for the meth lab guy to come across a certain road at a certain time, pops the thing that he used, the nail, and doesn't kill him, just takes all his stuff. And he gets found out by Nacho, and he goes, the only guy I could actually think that would do this, that wouldn't kill the guy, was you. And Mike really doesn't hide it. He kind of wants Hector Salamanca to find out at the same time. Like, he... He... When, they, when he finds out that there was a good Samaritan that gets... That tells an honest story about what happened. Gets shot in the face by Hector Salamanca. That's when Mike basically goes, you know what? Fuck this. Sorry, I could bleep myself, but I'm not going to. So Mike puts it, you know. Screw you, Hector Salamanca. And next week is the finale, so we're going to see some stuff. Um, the other good thing is, again, like I said, um, you see Chuck try to find out how Jimmy screwed him. And he goes, and he gets his lackey to go to a, you know, a, a copy place. Uh, and, like I said, Jimmy be wiring it, like... Jerry McGuire, I should say. Maybe it is Jimmy McGuire again since it's Jimmy. But Jimmy knows now where he went and pays the guy at the, you know, the printer place to not, you know, tell on him. So 
when Chuck comes back, he can't get a good answer out of this guy, and he has a panic attack again, and like falls and bangs his head on the thing, and I still don't buy it, because Chuck's an asshole. Look, the thing is, when it comes to these kind of shows, like I've talked about with Breaking Bad, is I commit. So I'm all about Saul. So I don't care what Saul does, man. He could, like, aside from eating babies, he can do, like, anything. Because I want to see how it all plays out in his favor. Because you know he's getting somewhere. So Chuck, F him, okay? So I want to see how far down the rabbit hole we have to go to get to Saul. So anything he does is fine by me. Because we know we're going to get to the great character, Console. And so next week we have Better Call Saul Finale. And it's going to be amazing. Because it's directed by Vince Gilligan. <laughs> right away. Like, this is the guy, one of the guys who made Breaking Bad. You know, like, he is Breaking Bad. So we're going to find out, like, oh my gosh, it's going to be amazing. And screw Chuck. But at the end, it's kind of like the destruction of a character that we like, which is Jimmy. We all know Saul, but we're going to see, like, how Walter White turned into Heisenberg. We're going to see how Jimmy turned into Saul, and it's a, it's a transformation thing, and it's, it's a tragedy, really, but... On the Shakespearean side of it, it's so more, it's so entertaining to watch. And you, now that you, you, and since you know it's coming, it's much easier for me, at least, to give in to the side of, let's watch them do this. Let's, I don't care who gets in the way. Screw them. So, anyway, wait for next week. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, please. And we'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye.